Talk, talk about a race that was, you know, so hyped up, especially like you guys wanted this so badly. You broke the national record, just a little short. I mean, how special was this race today? I mean, it truly was. Um, it, it was really a special to us that we just got to be able to come out here 100% healthy. We really just go out there and do our best. It's rare that, you know, someone breaks a national record and we still look a little bit disappointed, but that just shows how hungry we are and we're just ready. 365 days to be back next year. How tough was that last leg? Oh, it was tough. It was really tough, especially that last 150. is a little bit of a collision there, but I just really was thinking about my teammates the whole time. Really did, did you feel like within that last 100 meters, you, you could, I mean, you guys were right there with each other. Yeah. You felt like you could have passed her? I felt like I could, but, you know, something happened. So just really think about next year and going forward. Yeah. Before you guys got on this track, you knew that it was going to be an absolute battle between you and all of, uh, of Jamaica. Like, what are you guys telling each other uh, to get your guys' minds right to be able to compete at a high level uh, when you know so many people are, you know, excited for this type of meet? Um, like we were just all telling each other, like, we got this. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. Like, focus on the goal that we're trying to get to, and just show them what we what we came here for, and show us like how hard we work for this. All of our training throughout the season, just show them like what we went for and what, what the goal was. The girls, obviously, you run every race to win. But the time, being the fastest team ever in U.S. history, what does that mean to you guys? Put your your names and your time at the very, very top. I think it just means a lot, especially just hearing like not only America, but also just the Jamaicans cheering for us. It really just motivated us to run faster. And just hearing your names called and just the crowd cheering for you, just the adrenaline. It just means a lot to just be able to be here and just have our names just on that podium. And just, it's just a crazy feeling. And now you've gotten the, world, the national record twice at this point. What do you think might be possible? Like time-wise? Time-wise, yeah. Um, I think definitely next year our goal is definitely 30. I think it's very attainable for us. Um, we just try to cut down every time we step on the track and give her all. And I think we're steadily improving. And I think next year I'll definitely be possible. We've seen recently over the last, I guess, 10 years, just the domination in, in the United States track and field with bullets. Of uh, you know, you have Masai, you had just really everyone coming from from bullets. Like, what is it that they're doing down there uh, in, in Maryland to just making it so it's just consistently popping out? You know, excellent 104 meter runs. Uh, I feel like it's just really hard work behind the scene. Bullets is different on Falls Road. And really, I know people say like a whole lot of bullets does this, what the bullets take, yada, yada, yada. It's really just hard work and training all day, just supporting each other, encouraging each other, just wanting to be better for each other. And just yeah. that chemistry and that team bond just really pushed us to be the team we are. Congratulations. Thank you.